everybody welcome back to the channel I've got some exciting uh, finds to show you finds is that what you call them finds I did find them so well sort of found a couple of them bought the rest of them so I guess well I bought them all anyway never mind I've got some exciting model kits to show you right next to me that I got on my trip to North Charleston South Carolina to the model show that I went to, the SCMA Modelers um, up in uh, North Charleston. It was so much fun. My very first model show. And I competed. It did not win an award. That's okay. I didn't go to win an award. I went to see people, talk to people, and experience what a model show is like. Anyway, don't want to get ahead of myself. Before I start opening or, or showing you and explaining to you these kits that I got, I've got some mail that I wanted to, to uh, share with you guys. So I'll put Mr. Dale, I'll put Dale right there. Right there, Dale. Stay. All right, so first, I got a package in the mail. Okay, so some of you guys have sent stuff. It's been like a month. I hadn't forgot about you. But anyway, I got a package in the mail, and I'm like, cool. Anytime a package arrives, it's like, thank you very much. So this package came with spark plug wires, three different colors of spark plug wire, some styrene to make your very own distributor. Some uh, There's a set of uh, uh, chrome wheels and also a piece of plexiglass here. So, who sent me this, and I greatly appreciate it, and I'm going to put that stuff to good use, was Morel Ullman. And Morel sent me a really nice, uh, really nice letter, joked with me about my uh, coil wire situation. <laughs> yeah, I saw that when you wrote it. He's like, uh, anyway, I wonder if you got the uh, eight or nine plug wire dig that he put. I'm like, yeah, I got it. I don't do coils. They don't run anyway. I mean, you know, if it was if it was a matter of will this thing crank up and run, I probably would put a coil wire, but they don't. So why do I? So thank you, um, Morel, for sending me that. Uh, greatly appreciated, guys. And I have some more if I can get this out of my way. David Carranza, Mr. David Carranza is the most faithful pen pal. Well, I guess pen pal goes both ways. I haven't written David, but David writes me, he, he hey, it's like, it's going to be there. David's, since my last mail call video, I've gotten two letters here. David is, watches my videos very closely, and he um, makes comments on the things that he sees. And you have some great points. I really, really listen to you. <laughs> I really enjoy um, reading your letters, David. And uh, your advice and all those things. Thank you so much. Keep the letters coming, please. Because I look forward to that. So interesting to me. Another, um, i got a shop card here. Morris, Morris Custom Model Shop. Modeling since 1960. James Morris. Thank you, James, for this card. And also, he sent me something very special. He sent me this pamphlet, How to Wire and Detail Model Car Engines. Thank you so much for that, James. It's got all kind of neat things in here. I looked through this book. This is how it would have used to been done before YouTube, before all those things. People would have actually taken a book and opened it and uh, read how to do something because the information age did not always exist. And this was what that would that would have been, this pamphlet like this, to show you how to detail properly your engine. But anyway, Morris Mo Custom Model Shop. Of course, these shop cards go up around the, uh, the, the perimeter of where I keep my model kits at. And James, this one will definitely go up. Thank you for that, um, for this shop card and the kind words on the back of it as well. All right, next is Captain Nemo, Neiman Chambers. Um, Neiman is one of the most faithful guys to comment on my videos. Thank you so much. You don't know what an encouragement that is, Neiman. But anyway, thank you for those kind words. Of course, your uh, card's going to go up on the shelf and uh, or up on the uh, perimeter up there so it can be seen. 
uh, I, I have to redo my intro so I can have the intro with all the cards up there because I'm getting quite a collection. So thank you, uh, thank you, Captain Nemo, for sending me that. Model Zones, what he says, Captain Nemo, Captain Nemo Model Zone, but Neiman Chambers, thank you again so much for that card. It's going to go up there on the wall. All right, and last but not least, I just got this yesterday. Just got it yesterday. Fresh, hot off, hot off the press. That 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 wouldn't work. Hot off the mail truck. And to be honest with you, as far as this thing traveled, I am so surprised it's not destroyed. Because I can order something and it gets here and looks like the mail truck ran over it. But this one's nice. And when I looked at it, I'm like, wow, that doesn't look American. It's not. It's from Germany. And Ralph, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name, Ralph. But <laughs> why don't I give it a shot? Ralph, see... Uh, I'm not good. See, my, my wife, um, I didn't learn phonics. I learned like sight words in school. I don't know why, but my wife tells me I, that's why I can't read well. But anyway, Ralph, uh, uh, Severinstein. Ralph, thank you for this. In here is a very, very nice uh, letter front and back. And also... I won't show the one picture because it's Ralph's picture. Ralph sent me a stack of photographs of his model room, of his kits that he's built. And let me tell you what, guys, his collection of cars and, 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 and such. Ralph, you don't know what that means. These are real pictures, guys, like taken with a real camera and uh, developed. You know, what do we do these days? We don't develop anything. We leave them on the memory card and... Every once in a while we get the memory card out and look at them, but these uh these are some amazing kits that he's built. This is that uh MPC uh AMT MPC Dodge Daytona that everybody hates. What an outstanding job he did on it. Look at that model room, man. Some of you guys probably kill to have a model room look like that. But anyway, this is such a cool such a cool gift from Ralph. Thank you all the way from Germany. Uh he says he doesn't live far from I think was it Denmark or was was it Denmark? I'm not. I don't remember. But anyway, that's uh. Ralph sent me that all. And again, all the way from uh. Stade, Stadium, Germany, or something like that. I will cherish those. Those are so so neat. Thank you, Ralph. Don't forget, guys. I'm also going to link in the description of this video those uh those uh, fellows that had um YouTube channels. And so you can go check them out. So without further ado, Dale Earnhardt Sr. This this these kits I found. There's three of these NASCAR kits, and I found them at the uh, uh, farmhouse antique shop. Um, go back and look at my other video, antique looking for model kits and antique stop antique shop. This is uh this is the one that I spotted. This is the one that caught my eye. Anyway, this is a 19. It shows the the copyright date on this kit is 1991. I don't believe that Monte Carlo right there is a 91 Marty, Monte Carlo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it isn't that like late 80s. But regardless of the fact, I saw this thing hiding in a display case, and I was like, oh yes, and I opened it up, and it's all there, just like brand new. And uh, found three, found more than three kits. I bought three kits. They made me a great deal on it, it, on the kits if I would buy all three of them. The other one, this one here has got a little bit of water damage on the box, but it doesn't matter because oh, it also it does come with these neat accessories too. But it's a Davy Allison uh, Havling Thunderbird monogram. Also, I guess it's 124th. Yes, it is 124th scale. Um, but he made me a great deal on these. Uh, 1990 copyright date on these kits uh i, me, I got them for eight dollars a piece out the door eight bucks a piece isn't that cool anyway i'm not going to open it up but anyway i've looked at this everything's there everything's in perfect shape except for the decals but who cares you can take that kit right there and use it for some sort of kit bashing or something like that um now i've got a pretty cool one it's almost out of the wrapper but not completely but it's the daryl waltrip Monogram, Darrell Walter, 124 scale, Western Auto Car. I remember this uh, Western Auto Car when he ran it. 
and this one's probably around the same year 1991 as well oh it also has the uh now does it come with this stuff or is or is it a i'm not sure if it comes with that or if that stuff you can buy anyway both of those kits have this so that's a complete kit too a little bit of water damage on this one the decals are probably shot out but who cares it's a model kit and uh, like i say those kits that have problems like that you can use you can use those uh those cars to build something custom all right next is i bought this now now the rest of the kits i either bought or won at the model car show so this car 1969 cougar eliminator i've been seeing this one on ebay and i've wanted it but i went there to the uh to the to the show and this guy had a, just a huge selection of kits got this one for 18 bucks can you believe it it's uh also like on his kits it would be like c s i think the the contents or whatever sealed inside or something like that so like the 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 contents he's gone through too. check this out gone through and put things in baggies the tires so they won't melt everything or in baggies so what a great uh great way to preserve these things too so w what a price but yeah an amt 69 cougar eliminator um very very cool this is also 1991 copyright date but wouldn't you like to have that dude wow love to have it all right next is and i've got one of these but i wanted another one 67 my uh, mercury mercury comet cyclone so yeah boy i'd like to have this car in real life which is like a fair lane but it's a mercury so like a 66 67 fair lane would have looked like this but this is a mercury so they call it a comet the box has a piece cut out of it i don't really care but this is the second one of these that i've got got that one for 18 dollars as well so isn't that cool what is it uh i thought i could find the the date on this thing but oh well probably around i don't know mid 90s all right next i bought oh i got two of these and i didn't buy both of these so 53 flip nose i have the okay so this is originally was an mpc kit um mpc made this i've got the mpc kit up on the shelf i'm not going to reach up there and try and take it down but this is an original mpc then rebranded re as amt but the 53 flip nose um i bought okay so this is actually the one that i bought so i got it for 15 dollars, and it's all there just like i said everything this one actually came with the tires bagged up but I thought this is a cool kit. Um, I think it's cool because it's it's the it's the AMT version of an MPC kit. And if I have two of them, you know what I can do? Then I can build one of them. So, um, so that's what that is. The this is a Walmart kit too. I think the Walmart was this the checkerboard was what I think people said that that was specifically for Walmart. This is 2004. Don't have a lot of age on it. Um, although it's older than. Uh, Two of my kids all right so this 53 flip nose i won it now let me tell you how i won it at the show they had a raffle <laughs> they had a raffle uh contest you know they sold tickets they had a ton of kits on a table i'm talking about a ton of them and they had all these raffle tickets and they would call the number if you got your number you got to pick a kit got to pick a kit i didn't buy any tickets I was too busy trying to figure out how to get my cars registered and trying to make a video and talking to people and all that stuff. But my friend Kevin that went up there with me, he lives in Fernandina or uh, Yulee or Fernandina or someplace down there in Florida, North Florida. He's pretty close to me, about an hour. Kevin, uh, we we met up when he uh, at the show and he, he left before I did. Well, the, all the, uh, the the tickets were still being called, and he left. He handed me like seven or eight tickets. Well, I ended up winning two kits off this. So, Kevin, <laughs> thanks to you, I got two of these babies. So, uh, uh, that was it. Was it was fun? Um, ra the raffle, the the everything about that that show was was just a lot of fun. But anyway, I got two of these AMT fifty three Ford flip nose trucks. They're probably a beast to build because. You know, it, it, it's parts probably don't fit that great. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe it does. All right. So next 
Here is a $18. I've already got one of these. So again, you know what that means. Um, Socks and Martin GTX. What a cool kit right here. I don't think I've even taken the top off of this box. But there we go. Look. Look how this fella that I bought these from. He had the all the glass separated. Now the tires can't burn anything up because they're they're not touching anything. Everything's in its own bags. But I got that for $18 at the show. Ravel Socks and Martin GTX. Such a cool car. Can't wait to build that one. Alrighty. This was a very unique kit that really stood out to me. Let's see, I bought it as well. $18. Um, 69 Chevelle SS396. The ugliest, ugliest decals you could ever imagine. Who, besides a child, and, and you know, sometimes we don't make such great decisions as a child, would put those stickers on there or those decals. They're so ugly. But anyway, this kit, I saw it. It's like, that's kind of a unique kit. I'd never seen it before. I think my friend Chris Callen said he could remember this kit, but um, I decided because of it's unique, I didn't see a date on it. Um, it. It didn't have any, as far as I could tell, it didn't have any copyright dates, but I looked it up on Scalemates. 1987 is the approximate uh, copyright date for this. And uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It reminds me of an MPC kit as well. And I didn't look back in the history to see if it was, but it may be, but I, and it's just molded in brown, light brown. Okay, so this one's been out of the bags, but bagged back. Okay, just the, the kits were just so neatly packaged the way this fella, and he did that, I think, as a, um, I don't know if it was a, I think he said it was his hobby just to travel around and sell model kits. I told him I would go broke because I wouldn't sell any of them. I'd keep every one of them. Anyway, guys, AMT 69 Chevelle SS396. Very cool. Here's a, cool kit i think i've said that for every single one of them so far but oh well they're all cool 69 ford mustang mach 1 so made by amt this thing has a 428 so 428's an fe engine 429's not an fe engine <laughs> i don't know why i decided to tell you guys that because it would that reminds me of my dad um he would call the 460 429 he would call that the 385 family. I don't know why. I don't know if that was even right, but 385 family is what my dad would always call the 429, 460. And then you got your 428, 427, 390, uh, 352, 360, 406, whatever. Those were all FEs. And I found out what FE stands for. And I know this don't have a thing to do about this car, but it does have an FE engine is it was Ford Etzel. That's what the FE stood for. I'm like, well, how do you like that? I've always known that they were called FE, but I had no idea what FE was, was about. This one was only $15. What a cool car and what a great deal. 15 bucks. Windows, of course, and the glass in a separate baggie. Two whole sets of tires, looks like, and all the parts. All right, 69 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Man, I wish I had two of those. Okay, 29, AMT 29 Ford Woody pickup. It's one of those where you can build it all different ways. Isn't that cool? I just, if, if I had, if I had, boy, how, how many people have said that, you know, throughout the years? <laughs> if I had, if, you know, there's some little analogies that goes with the if thing. But anyway, I won't go there. So this is a 2007 RC2, I think that Chinese company RC2, um, yeah, made in China. They were, they had the rights to the AMT, but this is a cool kit. Sealed up, got it for 18 bucks. You ain't going to get them that cheap on eBay. You just aren't because you got to add 10 bucks of shipping to go along with it. So guys, if you ever can go to, a, if you ever can go to a model show that's got vendors, wow, I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. I was like, oh man, I wish I brought money, more money. Um, four in one kit too. It's pretty neat, but it's AMT. 29 forward woody pickup so you can make it to woody or you can make it to pick up all right here is this one fooled me oh and thanks kevin this one i also won on the raffle um what a great guy 30 forward woody pickup by monogram 124 scale that that one i just showed the 29 by amt is, tw is 25th scale this is a i saw this and it caught my eye. i'm like oh boy there's an older kit right there out of the 
either the early 80s or late 70s. But I, it, it fooled me because on this it says right here, copyright, is it picking up? I don't know if it's it's focusing right there or not. But anyway, copyright 1974, I'm like, yeah. And then you look below, it said 1995. It's like a re-release. But they did it right. They, they used the original box art and everything, but I won this one at the raffle. Look at that beautiful yellow styrene. Why on earth did they do that? But it's also got brown styrene as well. So yeah, I got this one off the raffle and I thought it was really cool. And then I bought this one, which if I'm not mistaken, is the exact same kit as that one. If you'll look, the engine's got the three, uh, is it? Is that three or six carburetors? Same same uh, engine setup, same wire wheels, same bumper, same everything. Exact same kit, but I bought this one for $15. Um, oh yeah, it's six carburetors, six one barrels is what it's got. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, right there. Six one barrels, six one barrels. So this would have been the original probably issue, well, I wouldn't say original, but the earlier date, although it's um it's newer this one's newer than this one but it's just a retro anyway all right so this one's the ford woody street rod you see we got the same old kind of tires everything's exactly the same this is from 1987 a little nostalgia going on there so cool this one will set on the shelf and rot no it won't rot because plastic doesn't really rot um they said if you throw a plastic cup out it'll last like what 18,000 years or something like that but these I said that in a you know when I say it'll sit on my shelf and rot I like to look at these guys they're going to sit there and they're they're twins or they're cousins or or something like that they're not twins they're cousins uh, this is a older cousin this is the younger cousin and they'll sit on the shelf and and I'm going to admire them and I'm going to enjoy looking at them and if I ever decide to I might would build one but I doubt it because I like to look at them more. All right, those are two really, really cool kits by Monogram. All right, almost last but not least, but next to last but not least, not really because I've got one over to my right as well. Um, my battery's going low. All right, so this is the Monogram Ford uh, 1940 Ford 124 scale. This kit is, I have one on the shelf in the plastic steel. This is one that I remember building as a kid. I had to have another one. Um, the box has got a little fade. It's a little faded, but that's okay. 18 bucks. 18 bucks. I opened it up. It's all, all there. Just, just like that. Very, very cool. This is the one where the door is open. Um, yep. Very, very cool kit. Guys, pause just a second i'm going to hook some power up to this thing before it completely goes dead mid sentence and i'll be right back okay got the charger on it all right so anyway this was like i said really cool kit 18 dollars. i got two of them now i might build one i might not i'm not sure um what's the date 1991 on this monogram 124 scale 40 ford pickup awesome find all right, and I bought another. You guys have seen. I've already. I've already, I have one of these on the shelf already. Um. Story. Hold on, just a second. I forgot. So the story continues to go on um, about the the car that my dad built when I was a kid. And I've got it and I want to restore it. So I've been collecting these kits so I can have parts. And each time I get one, it's like a complete kit. And I don't want to break into it and rob parts. So this is another complete one by Testers. 1983, I believe the, uh, I think the copyright date was like 1983. It's somewhere on here. But anyway, it's on the back. 1983. I opened this kit up. It's complete. It's, it's all in its plastic. But I am... Uh, IMC is the manufacturer was the original manufacturer of this and testers had the rights to the to the uh, molds or whatever however that works but I got another one of these so that makes two kits like this I've also got the hard top version but anyway 
I got kind of hooked on buying these and I bought that one here, the sealed one. And some of you guys said that they didn't seal these things um, until 1970 something, so it couldn't be from the 60s. Well, I talked to some guys at the show, some old model builders that have been building for years and years, and they're like, no, that's not true. So this thing, I just want to run this by you one more time. This is the one that I bought. I've overpaid for it. Well, it just depends. My wife probably would think I overpaid for it, but I think I got a great deal. It's sealed. And I, the reason I know this kit's never been into is this. You can hear a little, few little things. But for the most part, but you take... You take these kits that have been open. Oh yeah, I bought a few more. You hear that? And hear this? There's like two pieces. Two pieces in there floating around. I, I truly believe this is an original sealed kit. This the, this plastic looks really, really, really old. Um, but anyway, that's not even what I wanted to talk about. This, this is not even about these kits, but it just came to mind. Um, because I bought that... 48 Ford testers kit. I'd also bought another one of these and I opened it up and showed you guys the contents. It's all there. Had some melted windshields and stuff, but you guys had mentioned in the comments of this video that you can fix a lot of that stuff. So I've got got the original in the original package. I've got this one that's been opened and then I had to have one more because I found a great deal. This one's also in its okay, so here we go guys. This one's also in its wrapper. It's open but the wrapper was left on it. So is this, you know, is this an original kit or had it been, is this a wrapper original? Now this is pretty cellophane-y. I don't know if, if there's any difference in that plastic and this plastic because this is nice and tight still. I can't really make any noise with it, but you can tell that it's got tons of age on it. Anyway, this video is getting way too long cause I'm getting way too off topic talking about these 48 Fords, but these are all, from the 1965 version of that 48 INC and the other one is a 1983 version of the um, uh, testers okay last but not least I saw this and I'm like I'd never seen it before and there's tons of kits that I've never seen before so that's nothing new but I saw this supercharger Dodge muscle car by MPC and I saw it down there and it was $25 got a little age on it. it's 1980 I believe it was 1980 um mpc supercharger and it was all there really cool oh man i didn't see that oh here's the uh original decals which actually look really really good um that's pretty neat the old you send it in for something but yeah this kit's all here tinted windows, tires are separated, molded in red, all the chrome is there. And I just thought, wow, that'd be a really cool kit to have just because it's MPC, it's old, it's uh, something that you just don't see every day. And that just, that floats my boat right there. That's the kind of stuff I dig. So this is a neat old car. I can tell you what though, the video that I just did with my GTO, the exhaust, I can tell you, it's almost the same frame. I would even like to know, is this the same frame as that GTO? Because looking at the axle, you see the exhaust are molded through the axle because it'll have a metal rod going through. I'm curious to know. I have to break her open and really look at it, but I'm not going to. But anyway, guys, that is it for my haul. I spent way too much money, had way too much fun, and um, got to make another video. So you, I, I want to thank every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you guys for just being very supportive in the comment section and all that goes on on the channel I, uh, within the uh, uh, interaction with you guys. I just want to say thank you so much for, for all you do for me. I'm just going to put, put a couple of these up here. Um, if you haven't already, go to our Facebook group. Join our Facebook group let's uh let's see what you do if you haven't already go to hobby nut models and see if you can find any of these kits mark continually finds older kits puts them on there and it has you have an opportunity to not leave your house and buy one of these older kits as well as new kits as well as uh supplies as well as paint mcw paints and things like that go check out hobby nut models links 
for the Facebook and Hobby Nut are in the description. And when you're down in the description box, please click on my Teespring store and let me grab something. Click on my Teespring store and go buy yourself a t-shirt. That would be awesome. Or buy yourself a sticker like this right here. That would be awesome. I've got two different stickers on there. Um, hoodie, coffee mug, whatever. Um, go check it out. The When you purchase something on there, it definitely helps me to create content much easier. Because it does take money to do this stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all you do, guys. Comment on these. Tell me which ones you've got, which ones you've built, which ones you want. Um, did these come wrapped or not? Um, the jury's out. I don't know. But anyway, I'm done. Thanks, guys, for watching. You guys have a great day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.